Also tonight, an opportunity for local veterans to voice their thoughts on Buffalo's VA hospital. They gathered to share their experiences and concerns with State Assemblyman Patrick Burke. 7 News reporter Kristen Moran was there for today's roundtable event and is amplifying their calls for change tonight. Western New York veterans like Mike Vallon are raising concerns over care at the VA Medical Center. Get you up there for an x-ray then they'll, they'll contact you in two or three months. Okay. If, if you're, you're in pain, that doesn't work. Valen, a Vietnam vet, says he's been having painful issues with his feet. And your pain is immediate. You need immediate treatment and you're not getting that. No, I'm getting nothing. I know a lot of guys just gave up. They, they live with their conditions. Bernie Romanowski, a Vietnam vet and a retired lieutenant colonel, says he's experienced problems too. There's a backlog. They're, they're just, the staffing is overwhelmed and a lot of veterans issues aren't really handled they get pushed back he says the va does a lot of good last year the centers for medicare and medicaid services gave the western new york va healthcare system a five-star rating but romanowski says he hopes to see some improvements made i say it's a bureaucratic nightmare so assemblyman pat burke hosted a roundtable discussion at the american legion matthew glad post in lackawanna to hear from these vets really what we're finding that it's a bureaucratic mess you know, it's not ill intent. It's people who are overworked, understaffed, and a lot of need, and then you need, it needs multiple steps. He's also opened up this survey for veterans to share their experience. And then we take that to the VA, and hopefully they are responsive to that. And if they're not, then we have another conversation. I did reach out to the VA about these concerns. I'm told I won't receive a statement until Wednesday. Meantime, Valen is hopeful these conversations will spark change. The veterans should become first. Krista Moran, 7 News, Lackawanna.